Live from Gene Autry Way, welcome to Angel Stadium. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Cincinnati Reds and the Los Angeles Angels. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about ready to go. And the pitcher here today, Jose Suarez. Well, the starting pitchers go. He's not real tall, so one of the keys for him is having good deception by being able to change speeds, add and subtract velocity on his pitches. You know, the ball doesn't come from a high angle, so it can be a little flatter in the zone. So he's got to be able to work the corners, work all the quadrants, but also maybe pause a little bit, hesitate, vary up his times to the plate, and make that hitter inconsistent in terms of getting the front foot down. Number 23 in the box now. No balls and a strike. Here's your one. Comes up empty. That's no strike ball. two. Gonna really need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. Next pitch oh misses God. outside. Now one and two. And he deals. Gets a piece and stays alive. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Guys become defensive, and all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. The 0 1. There's a strike. Next offering is downstairs. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0 2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. Kicks and deals. And down on strikes. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, you've got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. late on that fastball. Kelly just threw that fastball by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Got him! Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. Reds down in order. Now the Angels will get their first crack at it. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back in Anaheim, towing the slab in today's game, Hunter Green. Well, most pitchers today are pretty tall, but this guy's definitely taller than most. He's kind of an imposing figure out there, especially when he's standing on top of the bump. It's like he's looking down on you, so hitters have to be prepared for a couple of things. Ball can get on you a lot quicker because of the extension and release point, and then also tilt through the zone. If you're going to try to hit pitches at the bottom of the zone, it's going to be difficult to get on plane. So look for something up from this guy. You might have a chance to do some damage. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One down. Batting second. Not shortstop. Number nine, the next to hit for the Angels. And that is in for a strike. It's 0 and 1. And that's down and away. Oh, 
Next Two offering balls, way upstairs. Right. This one in the air center field. Fairchild puts it away for the out. And there's two away. That is good. The first base is two outs, base is empty. Brandon Drury to the plate. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon, the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Oh, great stop. Over to first, and very nicely done for the out. Angels held in check. We played an inning, no score. here at Angel Stadium top of the second and now here is number 33 Christian Encarnacion Strand the pitch that one's in there that's strike one first pitch strike right there for him he's going to have to do that consistently if he's going to give any length to his skipper next offering is in for a strike I understand you want to try to gauge that guy's fastball but you also have to be aggressive and ready to hit in your zone now you're in a tough spot the 0 2 and now one and two gets a piece there we'll do it again pitch that's ball two. got him looking looks like he's picked up right where he left off ah the uncle charlie boo kept it up his sleeve the entire bat until the sixth pitch snapped it off dropped it in there and just froze it what's with the uncle charlie nickname i mean people use it all the time doesn't feel like it's it's common knowledge as to why. Yeah, I don't know. Um, sounds like something we could find on the interweb, though. Yeah, I think you're probably right. But why not, like, Uncle Carl or something like that? Uncle Curly. Uncle Boo. Well, but then what would it be, a breaking ball? <laughs> it gets down, base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Right there, does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. Will Benson. So up next, Will Benson. That's a strike. 0-1. And here it comes. And that one wrapped foul. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You've got to make sure that you field the ball cleanly and get one out first. It's going to be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. Here's the 0-2. Runner, runner, runner. runner on the goal. Liner snagged it first. Takes it to the bag himself and doubles him off. One hit in the inning, but no one left. We go to the bottom of inning number two. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Bottom of the second. And, and now the catcher comes up to him. Logan O'Hoppy. Logan O'Hoppy. Green back to work. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Righty to the plate. Oh and the slider just misses. Carl Dixon doing the umpiring behind the plate. And Boog, I'm not sure if it's because he sort of sets up higher than most, but one thing to be aware of with Dixon is the high strike. 
not usually a big deal because most guys are swinging at pitches up there but we may see some surprise looks from hitters from time to time because that's just so unusual and a quick out number one batting the right, right field Joe. here's Joe Adele That misses, one ball up. one. There's the strike. It's a good change up to hit up in the zone. I don't think he recognized it. I'm sure he'd love to have that one back. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. Just not able to catch up to that velocity. Off the plate, and it's two and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And that's a strikeout looking. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. No, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Eduardo Escobar in the box with two gone, and takes a look at a called strike. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Next offering misses, and it's one and one. Up the middle. Tosses to first. Escobar out of the play. And that is that. Nothing doing for the offense that time. We played two full. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Well, here we go, top of the third scoreless game. Here's the second baseman, Nick Senzel. Here comes a pinch. And ball one. There's a strike. One ball, one strike. Good eye right there. Misses off the play. And now three balls and a strike. And a foul ball. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Three and two now. Fights it off. You'll see another. Pay all pitch. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. Stuart Fairchild, the next to hit for the Reds. Foul ball with two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. That's oh. off the mark. One and two to count. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. Snap throw to first, hey. and he's back in easily. Senzel gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Next pitch is outside. That's a really good take.
That one way outside, and that's ball three. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They got him working hard out there. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it could take away your focus from the next hitter, and that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence, and it's a multi-run home run. Here's Luke Maley. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. They get it in quickly. So first and second now, one out. The bat, number 23. Now the left fielder, number 23, let off the game with a strikeout. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. one this one chopped on the ground but foul going two now oh. cuts and misses it's a strikeout So first and second with two outs. Ellie De La Cruz, the next to hit for the Reds. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. Good eye right there. First and second, two down. And a pitch. Right through there for a strike. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. Rip to short. They get the force. Third out. Red strand a couple. And we're still knotted at zero. Back here at the ballpark, and leading and off number 38, the third baseman, Michael Green, back to work. And yeah, there's a ball. Green, a righty that throws with power. He features a four seam fastball, a slider, and he works in a changeup. Nope, that ball. misses the zone. Two balls, no strikes Two to count. Out. Just missed. There's a strike. That was absolute gas. Triple digits on the gun. It's just a different experience as a hitter watching that go by. The 3 1 in for a strike. Full count. The line of the pitch. That's towards center. Fairchild settles underneath it. And there's one away. Here's David Fletcher. Fletcher. And that one missing low. Count one and oh. And that's in for a strike. The ball, one strike. The 1-1. One, one. Whoa, that's down. The 2-1 is high. Three balls, one strike. 
Swing and a miss. Full count now. He has a tendency to chase out of the zone, and that slider that's down, that's one of his money pitches to get that swing and miss. Got him. Two away now. Here's a speed threat. Brett Phillips. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Righty delivers. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. As we go to the top of the fourth, and now the DH, Joey Votto. Joey Votto. The why to kick the pitch. There's the strike. Well, these Reds, to put it bluntly, need to put together more competitive at bats, and I don't think they've lived up to their own expectations at the plate. Strikeouts are a little easier to stomach in baseball today, but even by those standards, they're going down way too often, and I think they're having a hard time getting any momentum going as a result. Just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control, and it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. And here's the first baseman, number 33. That one misses, and it's 1-0. There's a strike. That's off the mark. Two balls and a strike. Two balls, one strike. Into center. Phillips under it. Makes the grab. One away. Noel V. Marte digs in now. And first offering is fouled off. Vado leads off first with one away. And that's outside. And the count is one and one. That's down and in. Two one. He's going, he's going. Run around the goal. Ground ball up the middle. Fletcher over to second. And their second double play of the day will end the fourth. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. We're midway in the fourth. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Ready to go. Bottom and four. Here Here's the left fielder, field. Randall Gritchick. No left Randall. Randall. Hunter Green has a long way to go before he's the most famous baseball player from his high school. Mike Stanton went to Notre Dame High School in Sherman Oaks, California. Of course, now we know him as John Carlos Stanton. And yeah, that's outside. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0, he's put himself in a really good spot. The wind and the pitch. And a strike. Two balls, one strike. Two 
And now it's even up. And a pitch. That one drifts inside. Got it by him for the K. Looked like he reached back and got a little extra on that one. Triple digits on the miles per hour through the zone. No chance of touching that one. Now the number two hitter, number nine. Little dribbler up along third, and it goes just foul. One down, base is empty. And a big swing and a miss. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. The Halos hitless so far in the game. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. Tasked with one, two, and three to start this inning, but no trouble oh, so far. Game. I'm sure he'd love to strike the out the side here. Make a little Brandon. statement, but you've got to be composed in this spot. Focus on getting this next guy. You got two good outs. Want one to get the third one and avoid the middle of that lineup coming up with a base runner. Could become dangerous. Off the mark there. Two balls, no strikes. He hasn't wanted to challenge him. Both of those pitches off the plate away. Don't expect anything down the heart of the plate. You may just have to be patient and take your walk here. Swings through that one for strike one. I guess you throw it that hard, you can get away with locations like that right down the middle. But I still think it's a danger. Now this ball is well hit. This one's got a chance. Pulls it in on the warning track. Angels go quietly there. Still no score. We go to the top of the fifth, and here is Will Benson. The pitch. That's a slider for a strike. Well, these Reds need to bring up the quality of their bats and specifically their swings. They're trying to find ways to drive the ball with some authority, but it's just not happening for them so far. Zero extra base hits in the game, so it's been tough for them to get anything going. That one misses, and that's ball one. Sometimes you have to keep chipping away until you break through, but it's a lot easier to put runs on the board when you have guys in scoring position because they put themselves there. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Calls it in, and there's one away. The batter number 50, second base. Now it's Nick Senzel. Worked a walk at his first trip to the plate. Pitch misses, ball one. And there's a curve through for a strike. Now there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. The 1-2. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. Well, I don't think there's a hitter alive that hasn't at some point succumbed to that pitch right there. It just looks like it's in the zone the entire way, and then the top spin and gravity take over in the blink of an eye, and it's just such a tough pitch to lay off of. Stuart Fairchild, the next to hit for the Reds. That one inside, and that is ball one. And 
And it skips in the dirt. Close, but called a ball. Three balls, no strikes. Breaking ball through there for a strike. And now the lefty. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That one is gone. He'll touch them all. And they grab the lead. It's 1-0. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Two outs, nobody on. Next to hit, Luke Maley. And a base hit right there. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Back-to-back -back base hits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anytime you Number rip a line three, drive three, the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And now it's going to be number 23. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Left-hand hitter waits. And now the count is even. Maley off of first with two away. That one back up the middle and it gets through. They stop the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Next for Cincinnati, Ellie De La Cruz. Hard on the ground to first. He handles it himself. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. Red strike first with the solo blast. It's now 1-0. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Welcome back. John Shelby with my buddy go. Chris Singleton. It's set to get us the started. Cartoon. Bottom five. Logan O'Hoppy. Oh, yeah, the right hater back to work. Misses inside. One and oh. And that one just oh, missed off the outside edge. Clips the corner, and it's two and one. And that's in for a strike. And the righty deals. 3-2 now. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Wanted to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Kicks and fires. In there. Got him looking for the K. He's got to be frustrated with that call. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. Adele at the plate now. That's ball one. The Angels still looking for their first hit in this one. That's in for a strike. One ball, one strike. Good eye in that spot. And the right-hander deals. 
Nice grab. The throw on the money. Nice play. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Eduardo Escobar, El Caballo up to him. 0 for 1. He grounded out in his first at bat. That one. one close ruled a ball. And that's ball one. Rips one to right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that's the third out. Angels go down one, two, three. They trail here, one nothing. Top of the sixth inning, and the batter now is Joey Votto. Joey Votto measures six feet two inches, a member of the 2000 Hit Club, and he's usually a first baseman, but today he's the designated hitter. On the ground, right side. The flip to the pitcher covering. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. Number 33 now at the plate. Some people say that first baseman kind of have the day off regularly because they don't run around a whole lot. But when you think about it, they are involved in just about every single play. And there's a lot of stress that gets put on their legs. So a well-deserved day at the DH spot for him. And that one fouled off. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right. And that will get out of play. The one-two. Bounced up the middle. Fletcher fires over to first. And a couple of quick outs. So two down now, and here is Noel V. Marte, one for two. First pitch just misses. There's a strike. So now one and two. Can't connect on the curveball, struck him out. So they make short work of him there. Seven, eight, nine, due up in the home half of the inning. It's the Reds one and the Angels nothing. Well, we go bottom six. And so in now for the Angels, Angels. number 38. The third Green back to work. That one missed. That's a strike across the top of the zone. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. The pitch. Hit on a line, and that's a base hit. And that ends the perfect game bid. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Now it's the second baseman, David Fletcher. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Check swing, no appeal, and it's 1 0. Runner on the go. High fly ball down the left field line. Number 26. On the move, racing back. 
makes the catch up against the wall. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder Brett Phillips. His first at bat was a strikeout. Way high. This guy absolutely flies. The defense wants to turn two, but they've got to get a ball they can do it with. Make sure you get the first out before you try to rush and get two and end up with nothing. And a pitch. And now two and nothing. That one in triple digits. And there's a foul ball. One run game, one out, one on. On the ground, out to short. And it gets by him. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Back to the top of the lineup, Randall Gritchick now. Check swing, now we'll look down to first. No swing, just held it back there. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on, probably a challenge pitch coming. Good hitters count the 2 0. Way to lay off that pitch down. Number nine in the on deck circle. And there's the strike. Well, this guy on the mound's done a lot better than we would have expected, and the hitters just don't seem to have the right game plan. They're taking too many mistake pitches for called strikes. Next offering is foul back. And he walked him. Didn't miss by much right there. Just couldn't get the call off the inside corner. So base is loaded with one away. Now it's the shortstop, number nine. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. That's in there. Strike one. But I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Oh, and two now. Ball one there. Base is loaded, one away. Bows it off, still one and two. At the belt and fires. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the A.B. going. Well, they gave up on that pitch early, and it ended up staying in the zone. I'm sure he's kicking himself and would like that pitch again. Fights that one away, still one and two. Right-hander kicks, deals. Oh, Just missed. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Way inside, gets out of the way. And a 3-2. Stays alive. pitch ball four he's walked in a run 
Well, all tied up again, and that's a pretty rough way to give up a lead. It's just kind of a gut punch for the entire team to issue the free pass right there. And here comes David Bell as he's ready to make the change. Go to his bullpen. Hunter Green departs. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. New pitcher for the Reds, Derek Law. Well, he hasn't pitched in a while. Coming on here after five days rest, so he should be rested. But we'll see if he has any rust to shake off. And now the first baseman, Brandon Drury. The first baseman, number 23, Brandon Drury. In for a strike, going one. Tough situation right here. So important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count as he did right there. Phillips on third. Gritchick at first, one gone. On the ground, could be two. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Logan O'Hoppy will hit next. Now batter, Logan O'Hoppy. Ground ball could be two. Marte tossed the second, and that's two. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. Seventh inning coming up. Angels two, and the Reds one. New pitcher in the game for the Angels, Chase Silseth. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. And here comes Benson. Stands in now, looks at that one inside. Activity in the bullpen for the Angels. Jimmy Herget getting loose out there. Fulmer getting loose as well. Looking to get the tying run on base. Fouled off. He was late. The 1 1 is cut on and missed the pitch upstairs. here as he fouls it away. Right-handed reliever. Swing and a miss at the splitter, and it's a strikeout. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you get the leadoff hitter, so critical in setting the table when you've got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. Nick Senzel, the next to hit for the Reds. And the first pitch misses for ball one. The tying run at the plate. Line to second, snagged on the bounce. And that quickly two away. Now at the center field, Stewart. Stewart Fairchild getting ready to hit. He's already homered here in this one. Swings through that one. 0 oh, and 1. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. And the pitch. Popped up. 
Drury puts the squeeze on that one. And that is the third out of the inning. Offense held a check there. Seventh inning stretch time. Angels two and the Reds one. And welcome back. Set for the last half of the seventh. Now Joe Adele. The pitch. Good eye right there. And another ball. In there at the knees. Now two and one. There's the swing and a miss. Got him swinging. Chris, as we look back at the pitch sequence, he hadn't seen that curveball at all. How tough is it to adjust to something like that with a bunch of break when you haven't had a look at it yet? Yeah, I mean, you're dialed up for something firm. You never want to take a called third strike as a fastball, so you're going to be a little anxious before you recognize the pitch. And right there, clearly didn't see what was coming. Stepping in, Eduardo Escobar. And that's in for a strike. Here comes a pitch. There's a strike. And the pitch is outside, ball one. The one two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The one two. Just missed. Nice. Struck him out without a swing. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. Two outs, base is empty. Number 38 digs in now. First offering ball misses one, no badly play. for ball one. Out to short, De La Cruz. Jump throw. That is yeah. the inning. Pure athleticism on that one. In the air, legs split a bit, and fires across the diamond. He's going to get a lot of high fives in the dugout. Jimmy Herget comes on now. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Number 46, Jimmy. Luke Maley now at the plate. Leading off in Cincinnati. The catcher. The line to kick the pitch. That's a strike. It's 0-1. Action in the Angels' bullpen. Carlos Estevez, the closer, getting cranked up for a possible save opportunity. Ah. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss. That's a strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. Pretty big strikeout right there to start this eighth inning. Down one. Any leadoff base runner really makes this inning a bit more interesting. But now this offense has to switch from possibly trying to manufacture a run to needing to run into something or just try to string multiple hits together to get a run across the plate. Number 23, the next to hit for the Reds. That one is absolutely belted. Gone. He sends it out of here, and we are all tied up. It's 2-2. Two -two. A 
breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the fresh shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. Now the batter down. Ellie De La Cruz. Fletcher moves under it. Hauls it in for the out. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter. And a tough one at that. And next is the designated hitter, Joey Votto. And takes low for ball one. You can expect this hitter to be looking for something on a tee. He can get up in the air and untie this ball game. Ripped to third, but handled, and that'll end the inning. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. And we're deadlocked now at two apiece. Major League Baseball is on the show. So a new arm out of the bullpen for the Reds, Lucas Sims. Number 39, Lucas Sims. So now a pinch hitter, Mickey Monia. He represents the go-ahead run. Monia. The pitch. That misses off the outside edge. This one trail, right center field. That one heading for the fence and gone. That's what the fans came to see, and they grabbed the lead in the eighth. It's 3 2. That was blasted. Absolutely, no doubt off the bat. so tough to come in as a pinch hitter and have success. I mean, you really have to keep yourself locked into the game and ready at any time. So it's always impressive to me when someone jumps in there and hits it out. It's a huge lift for your ball club as well. And next for the Angels, Brett Phillips. And the first Whoa, pitch right misses for ball one. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. And he deals. Swinging a foul straight back. Ball to strike. Breaking ball, and that got him. Well, it definitely didn't come out of his hand the way that he was intending it to, and the release point was a little bit off as well. Now the left fielder, Randall Gritchick. And ball one. The real threats are coming up, already giving up a home run in this inning. It's going to really have to bear down. Righty delivers. That one's in there. And that's strike one. And a pitch. Ball, that pitch is up. And that one fouled off. Phillips gets his lead at first with nobody out.
Check on the runner, and he's back in safely. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Riding to the plate. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And one gone. Number nine, the next to hit. Double play ball to second. Senzel over to first. Got him. Number 23, number 23, Brandon. Brandon Drury, the next to hit for the Angels. Well, he's always a threat. Even if this guy is 0 for 3 for the night with three strikeouts, he can come up that fourth time and do damage because he's that good. First offering misses the mark. Runner leads away at second. That one fouled off. Runner at second, two down. That's in there, and that is strike two. Swings and misses, struck him out. Angels get one with a solo homer. Last chance coming up for the Reds. Carlos Estevez on to try and close it out. Well, he's the guy they hope to turn to out of the pin to lock down wins. So this game is gone to plan, more or less. Let's see if he can wrap it up here. Now, now into the ball game on defense, Mike Moustakis. He'll play second. Well, one run game. Now it's going to be number 33. And a pitch. Check swing, but he went too far. Slider right there. And that's oh, outside. That's Swing and a miss as he was late. In the dirt. Tosses the first, and they get the leadoff man in the ninth. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door, cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. Marte in the box now, takes strike one. Well, we call that key holding. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Line drive. He's got it, and there's two away. So digging in, Will Benson. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. Well, this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. On the ground to third, and foul ball. Owen oh, Tuzzi waves it that way. Just amazing to me how many closers and back end relievers just throw absolute gas these days. I never would have had a chance. 
Next offering upstairs. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. Foul ball still a one and two count. Game. Yeah, this turned out to be an exciting, very well played game. Always feels great when you can take the lead in the eighth at home. Come on, the ninth, the crowd will be behind that pitcher as he tries to get those final three outs. Everybody goes home happy with a win like this. A 3 2 final score in this one. They hang on to win it by a run for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.